Good morning. It's third day in Hong Kong. Third day, right? Uh-huh. It's hot again. And it's hot. We woke up at 7.30. Last night, what my dad what my dad does every night is he calls the hotel lady. He tells him he's Mr. Sir Jack and everyone knows him. So she's like, oh, Mr. Sir Jack. And uh, she calls us in the morning twice as an alarm. So she woke us up this morning. But I asked her, how, how come you know me? How come you always know me? And she's like, everyone knows Mr. Sir Jack. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going for breakfast now. So, see you down there. We're now going to see... Is it the world's biggest Buddha? No, I don't think it is. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see the world's biggest Buddha. See you guys. Hi, I see you, my friend. I have a big word for sale. What? Like what? How are you today? What do you do? here doing a little time lapse because this door is really cool and on the mountain there's like a bunch of fog that's moving past it looks really cool so I'm just videotaping that and making a time lapse we're hiking up to the big Buddha where's the where's the Buddha there's his head over there wow oh, yeah. there's his head Going up a million stairs. Okay, we're going back down and you have no idea. Mine and my dad and everyone's shirt here is soaking wet. Soaking wet. Like if you squished it, what so much water would come out. You have no idea how hot it is. But it's like a different kind of hot. It's like you like it's like you're in an oven. Even hotter. You have no idea.
chillaxing in the shade because that's the best thing to do here. Since it's hot, we decided to buy some hats. Mm. <laughs> I need one of these umbrellas right now. Dinner was delicious and now we're going to get some ice cream if we find any. So we got out of that uh, the cable car and I fell asleep in there, like, I'm so tired. Tata's so tired. So we're going back to the hotel now. We're gonna take a tram. And before I go, I wanted to show you something quickly. Look at all these buildings. There's so many apartments in them. Crazy how many people this country has. So we're going in the tram now. Talk to you later. Woke up from our nap, and now, and now we're taking. Daddy doesn't like being late. Taxi to uh, Kim Samsui, pier number one, where we might uh, get the Chinese junk boat. It's called so Chinese it. junk, but it's actually like this boat, it's a really cool boat, and uh, and we might go on it, and then we're gonna go on top and take a time lapse of all of Hong Kong. You daddy got me Snickers and vitamin water because he knows I like it. So, change of plans we're not going for the drinks for drinks at the top, instead, we're going on that red boat I showed you before. And at eight o'clock, there's also a light show, so there's tons of people here. And yeah. So we're off the boat, it's so relaxing. I kind of fell asleep because there was these like couches on the second level you could lay down. And uh, now we're taking a taxi to the ladies market again to buy some gifts for Jackie, Jonah, and the family.
got some room service, and yes, we are eating on an ironing board. Daddy got some coffee. I got some hot chocolate. Is that hot chocolate? Uh, no. So tomorrow we're going to China because my dad has two out he has a couple meetings with his factories and his workers and stuff. So right now he just explained to me the itinerary and what I what I have to say and how I have to act and stuff because it's business and I'm gonna take it over one day maybe. So I'm going to bed. Tomorrow we're gonna get up early and go to the Chinese border and go to where we're we going? Shenzhen or Guangzhou? Shenzhen. Shenzhen. The so basically everything you have at home is made there. That's what my dad said, right? What else is made there? Apple, you said? 80% of the world's toys and computers. 80% of the world's toys and computers is made where I'm going tomorrow. So I can't wait to see that. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. That was awesome. Girl, I know you're bad and I know that you can have any guy that you want. Any guy